Hello and welcome to Mint Canva Studio. A new year has come and we are ready for new resolutions. I used to write them down on paper and by February I had already forgotten them. But this year I wanted to do something different, so I created this goal planner with Google Sheets, hoping to achieve my goals faster and keep me focused throughout the year. If you're interested in knowing how it works, stick around and I'll show you. The link to purchase this planner is in the description below. The goal planner is very straightforward. There's the instruction page, a setup page, the dashboard to overview your goals quickly, and the goal tracker page. I also included an annual habit tracker at the end to help you track your daily and monthly habits. The instruction page summarizes this video. The video link is here at the top. If you don't need to see this tab anymore, you can click on the little arrow by the tab's name and select Hide Sheet or Delete It. As usual, the only cells you will interact with are the ones with a white background. Moving on, we click on Setup and personalize the dropdowns. You have three customizable dropdowns to fill. Start by personalizing the areas of life. Think of your goals as belonging to different categories, like business, social media, or mental health. Once you decide which goals to fulfill, you can put them in various categories. You can use the ones I wrote or create your own. Then you have the frequency. This dropdown will refer to your tasks and how often you want to complete them. You can use the three examples I wrote, like three times a week or twice a month, or input your own. The frequency will help you categorize your tasks. Lastly, there's the status dropdown. This refers to the status of your goal. You can personalize the dropdown with different statuses, but cannot change the one that says achieved. This word is connected to formulas and should never be removed from the dropdown. You can, however, move it up or down the list by copying pasting it, but do not drag it or you'll mess up the formatting. If you want your dropdown to say something different, like done or completed, let us know and we will adapt the template to your needs. Now we can move on to the next page, the Goal Dashboard. This dashboard has different features. At the top, you have a navigation menu that allows you to change pages easily. Below, different notifications will tell you the current date, the tasks planned so far, and the tasks you completed. In this little box, you will name your goals. We created space for up to 10 goals. Once you write them, you can see the little box beside say how many goals you have. Once you start completing your goals, you'll see how many are left. As you can see, the white cells are for you to edit, while the checkbox is automated. Every time you mark a goal as achieved, the box will check automatically, and the notification will count it. If you scroll right, you'll see another cool feature. You can create a vision board to envision your goals. In the white cell, add your vision and describe how your life will be once you reach your goals. This will help motivate you to keep going, even when things get difficult. The space here is for your images. Choose images that fit your style and aesthetic and insert them in the vision board. To do so, you can either insert the images in the cells or, to create a better look, insert them above. Go to the menu and click Insert, then Image, and then click Insert Image Over Cells. This way you can adjust images to the space provided. Below there is a comprehensive overview of your goals. As you can see, this area is not editable. If you want to edit your goals, you can do so on the next page. This is just a simple overview displaying the goal name, the area, the deadline and the status. Again, if you mark the goal as achieved, the progress bar will automatically say 100%. This area also displays the picture you choose and will tell you how many tasks are left to complete and how many you've completed. Below, an overview of your milestones will display how much you've achieved. If you scroll down, you'll see another important section you can edit. To achieve your goals, it is important to write down your intentions to keep you motivated. Use this space as a place to envision yourself after you've reached your goals. Whenever you feel the need, this motivation will help you keep going. The Goal Tracker page is the main section of our tracker, where you can edit your goals and decide how you will achieve them. For each goal, you'll start by deciding the area of life, a deadline, and the status. If you select Achieved, the progress bar will automatically move to 100%.
You can also assign a picture to your goal. To achieve your goal, you'll need a series of tasks. Tasks will let you reach your milestones. Each task will help you complete your goal. You can assign a frequency to the task and a deadline or due date. Once the task is finished, click the checkbox to flag it as done. Once you do, you'll see the progress bar moving. The milestones will help you measure the level of completion of your goal by adding a numeric component. For example, if you want to lose weight, you can add the different goal weight you want to reach. Or if you want your business to thrive, you can write how many sales a day you need. These milestones are optional and will not affect your progress bar, but I highly recommend using them since they help you decide which tasks have a higher priority. The calendar page will keep track of your tasks deadlines. This is a read-only page. The calendar will display all of your deadlines for the month you set. Double-click on the white cell and select a month from the little calendar that will pop up. The day is irrelevant. Once you click on a day, uh, any day of the month, the calendar will be set from the first of the month and only show the days that, that are specific to the month. So in the table, you'll see the task populate along with the deadline and the checkbox. Every time you mark a task as done on the previous page, it will appear scratched and already flagged as done. The calendar will act the same way. This page will help you see your deadlines and decide which task will take priority. This calendar will show all the tasks you set for every single goal. At the end, we also included a habit tracker. It can be used for different purposes and incorporate the daily and monthly tasks of your important goals. You can use this habit tracker starting any month of any year. Write a year in the white cells at the top and select a month from the dropdown. Once you do, the next 11 months will adapt according to your choice. Every month works in the same way. You set your habits and decide on a numeric goal. The goal refers to the number of days the habit needs to be done each month. Once you start checking the boxes, a progress bar and a percentage will let you know how much you've progressed with your habit. To move on to the next month, scroll down and repeat the process. At the top of the page, a quick overview will let you know how much progress you've made each month. It will tell you how many goals you've set and how many are left. You can also see yearly progress at the end and a donut chart. Since it is a pretty long page, we also included the links for each month to quickly jump to your desired time frame. As you check the checkboxes, you'll see the progress bar move accordingly. And that's it! What do you think? Have you ever tried tracking habits before? If it sounds like something you may like, the link to purchase the template is in the description box below. We hope you like our goal planner and achieve all your goals for this new year. So good luck and happy planning!